Today we are exploring something very exciting, truly cutting edge, and how you can run DeepSeek locally on VS Code to create your own private AI copilot. If you're looking to boost your productivity by having AI assistant that understands your code, speeds up debugging, and even suggests creative solution, all while keeping your data private, this video is for you. Let's jump in right. I'm Aditya, and you're watching. Skill curve. We are now currently on the main page of Visual Studio Code. Make sure it's Visual Studio Code and do not Visual Studio. Visual Studio is a proper IDE while Visual Studio Code is an IDE. It's more like a code editor which is very lightweight actually. Now let's talk about Code GPT extension that we are going to install our PC and run the local all the DeepSeek models. Now first of all you have to search the extension called Code GPT. After encode GPT, you'll get the result below. There are so many extensions. Make sure you always choose the right one, which is from code GPT, chat, and AI agents. You can see on the screen the logo and everything is on the right place. Now you can update it or you can just simply install it if you don't have the extension. After installing the extension, you can see on the left sidebar of Visual Studio Code, you can see a code GPT uh, option which is available. Now let me explain you how this thing all works and how the models are gonna respond to our chats uh, one by one. So this is the main interface of the code GPT. It's almost looking like uh, some chat GPT or cloud interface, which is true, but it's more than that. Let me tell you how. Now, below the input section, you can see a GPT turbo option. Clicking on that, you can see there are so many models right now, but do not click one by thinking that it's locally. No, this is not locally. First, you need to click on the view more option and now you can select any of them. But trust me, it's not that easy. Let me explain you how you can do it. First of all, you can see code GPT cloud. So these are the models. They are available on the cloud means they are not free. They have a lot of restrictions or they are not running locally on your PC means your code can go outside of the servers too. So for if you want some code protection, you don't want to go if you want to code run locally, make sure you go for local LLMs. And now I'll explain you how you can simply just install it. First of all, you have to select local provider. Here we have to select Olama. If you don't have Olama, do not worry. I'll explain you how you can install it, run it and test it. So you don't need to worry about that thing. Now you can select your model, which is DeepSeek R1, DeepSeek 70, DeepSeek. Now, what are these models? And if before you get confused what to choose, I'll explain you what this means is. First of all, let's talk about DeepSeek uh, 1 ratio 170B. It means R1 likely refers to release 1 of DeepSeek model, means it's kind of versioning, and 70B means this model has 70 billion parameters, 32B means 32 billion parameters, 40B means 40 billion parameters, and 8B means 8 billion parameters. You can scroll down and see a lot of parameters going around. There are so many. You can choose any one, but remember the more the parameters, the higher the cost to downloading will be, means the size of the model. I would say go for 1.5 billion parameters because it's small and often do the task that you want to do. After selecting it, you can just simply click on download button and DeepSea will start getting downloaded. Now, if you don't have Olama, I'll explain you how you can set up Olama on your PC if you don't have one. First of all, we are on the main page of Olama's website, which is looking like a basic uh, white color. You don't see any option excluding the download button. Just simply click on download button and it will get you to a page where you have to select your operating system. Make sure you are using one of these three already and most of the coders just use Mac or Linux means Unix based operating system. So you can just select any of them. For now, I'm using Windows. You can simply click on download for Windows. Make sure you are running Windows 10 or 11. If you're running Windows 7 or something like older version, previous version, it will not work. Let me tell you. Just after clicking on download button, after installing Olama, what you need to do is you have to confirm it if it's working or not. You can just simply search terminal on your Windows machine. If you're using uh, some basic uh, Mac or Linux, you can simply just search Olama in your command terminal too. That's very simple. The steps are literally same. Now, after clicking on, after searching Olama on your terminal or PowerShell, you can see there are so many commands which is a sign that Olama is successfully installed and you can run it locally and you can run use local models. Even on the terminal, you can run so many models. But for now, I will use CodeGPT to run Visual Studio Code and there you can use all these models. If you want to confirm again, you can just simply click on the taskbar arrow, top down arrow. Here you can see the Olama logo. If it's not getting uh, seen here, you have to enable it. Otherwise, 
it won't work. Now let's get back to the code GPT extension again. Now let's explain a little bit more. After downloading the DeepSeek model, just simply click on connect button and your local DeepSeek model will be connected and you don't need internet anymore. Now what is this LLM cloud model? Let me explain you this too. So this means uh, if you have API key for Anthropic, GPT, Gemini, you can use that too. For example, maybe you have GPT for uh, API, just simply click on the model uh, that you want to use and you can just simply click on your API and organization ID, which is optional. You can just simply uh, paste your API key, then paste it and connect it. However, remember it's not free. API key requires a lot of credit and lots of money. So make sure you have that. But while this tutorial is more about local LLMs, so already we have DeepSeek installed and now we will try to use it and see how this is working. All right, you can see on the left side we have DeepSeek 1.5 billion parameter model. Now I'll explain you the code interface of this uh, extension. Now this is uh, the main interface. It's looking same as ChatGPT, but this has some special features which you will not get in ChatGPT and other uh, cloud-based option. Here, the first option is AI code auto-completion, means you can predict and offer code suggestions just like Copilot if you enable this option. However, enabling this option is not that recommended and I won't even recommend you to. Now on the other side, this is the code base. You can uh, index your project. You can uh, give the context of your uh, project, which will help you to er edit the files of your code base. This is the history of a chat. You can see I have asked hey as a question. I know it's a bad question, but it was just a testing. So you can see all the chat history here. Now here in the add context button, you can add your files. Like for example, this configure file, tailwind file, src file. For now, I'm just, I just open a basic Next.js project and all these files you can see, um, this is just a basic components. You can even select any file to edit it with the deep seek. If you want more options, just simply click on the slash button. After that, you can see there are so many options like explain, comment, fix, document, refactor unit test debug security i'll explain you each one by one explain means uh, if you give a code to the uh, the deep seek model it will explain you the code base comment means it will comment it will maybe write a comment so the code will look more readable on the fix side it will fix the error if it has any error it will document the code refactor means it will beautify the code unit test means it will write some unit tests for the code to make it more robust i'll show you some use cases now. all right on the main screen you can see a basic project which is open right now. This is a basic Next.js project. If you don't know about Next.js, it's a basic web framework that help you to build a website in a much faster way. And with the help of Next.js, you can simply you know, just uh, deploy the entire website in much easier way without having big servers and stuff. Now let's uh, go to the code GPT and see how this code works in the code GPT and how code GPT helps us to improve the entire code base. Let's go to the left navigation bar and see how code GPT works. We are now on the new chat. We already have selected, as we can see in the previous step, the 1.5 billion parameters. Now, once you click on the slash button, you can see so many options like explain, comment. Let's click on explain and, and for example, let's select a basic uh, SRC page, like SRC page of the main page of Next.js and see explain code base in English. Make sure you have all the prompts in correct way like for example explain the code base in English so we get the best code base explanation in our own language. Okay the deep seek has started answering the entire question. Have you seen the speed of the entire response? It's so much faster than the you use in the cloud version. Now it started okay I'm looking at the code and the user provided it's a react component. Okay now it's working really really fine. It has detected that it's a react component. It's named page and it's imported from app slash patch.dsx. Now it's started identifying the entire thing and explaining. Under the main section there are two anchor tags one linked to the verse cell another one to Next.js. So yeah the deep seek knows that it's a basic Next.js project with the Tailwind classes. Now you have an idea how this entire thing is so interesting. Now you can uh, you can chat with your code base help it to improve it you can even say a lot of things like click on slash button you can even say document refactor it you can click on refactor it and just simply click on refactor button now what refactor does is it will try to beautify your code means your code will be much readable and much smarter okay okay i need to have refactor next year's page it started refactoring do you know the speed of the entire response it's really fast and the video is also basic on the normal speed and it's really fast like you can never get such a speed on the basic cloud function so i think code gpt uh, extension is doing really fine
it started generating the code of the entire SRC app page TSX. You can see uh, this entire code has been refactored in a much better way. If you don't know about much about refactoring, so it's just a way to make your code base look better. Like sometimes your code looks very ugly and hard to read. So what refactoring does it? It makes uh, easy so other programmings can read it and improve it. So now the code has been ready. You can either use insert code button or you can copy it directly you can just simply copy it and paste it but if you don't want that you are lazy like me you can just simply click on insert code and damn the code has been inserted now it's showing right red lines because the above code is a duplicate but you can just once you remove the code it will be so good like see now the code has been inserted and it's one of the best way you can now we have seen how this DeepSeek is working locally with the help of CodeGPT extension. Now, so now you have an idea how this DeepSeek is working locally with the help of CodeGPT extension. You don't need to go to your uh, the website of DeepSeek and see the server error. You can simply just do all the reasoning stuff, coding stuff, debugging stuff in just one place. Make sure if you like the video, just simply click on the like button, share it so other people know it, what's going on in the world of AI. And if you like, if you like more content like this, Subscribe the channel.